Hey everybody, welcome back to Art Club with Dean and my special guest star R2. He's decided to join us a little bit earlier today. We're on the letter Y for why I'm going to do Yoda, albeit the new baby version of Yoda that can be seen in Disney Plus as The Mandalorian. So, if you're ready, pencils, let's get sketching. So let's start off with the letter Y. something fairly stylish. Like so, nice and simple. Uh, let's get this sketch started. So I'm gonna do a little cartoony version of this character. So I'm just gonna lightly sketch out his head and we're gonna make it bigger than it would normally be. Uh, these little jowly chops. So I don't know if there's anyone that's familiar with this little character. He's incredibly cute. Got such a funny little face. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of the Star Trek. Star Trek, wow. Star Wars movies. Um, so I, I naturally love this character. Yoda is one of my favorite characters um, in the Star Wars trilogy. Um, I have lots of little figures of him, just like this one here that's lying down, because I think he's great. Um, and this little character, who they call the Kid, He's in the new Star Wars TV show, The Mandalorian. Um, we need to give him these absolutely ginormous eyes. I think that's one of the things that makes this little baby Yoda so appealing and so adorable. So two big eyes. I'll try and get them as balanced as possible. You can put in some of the markings. So he has, even though he's a, he's a baby character, he has these like little um, wrinkles on his forehead. He has a tiny uh, little baby nose and then this little baby mouth here, which kind of goes down a little bit. He almost looks like he's, he's unhappy. And then we do the lines underneath his eye. Put them in. And the ears will have just one long fleshy piece and then the rest is going to be different. Uh, I want this little line here and then we have a few little bumps here and here and he still has these little lines the side of his eye. Mm, if I should have made his nose maybe a little bit, a tiny little bit lower down. Let's get my trusty rubber and just have a play with that. Yeah, because I'm looking at him and that's the good thing is that the eyes are definitely in the right place but I think his nose needs to be a little bit, a little bit lower. And it's a tiny little tiny little nose. Then we have his little that furry collar. Let's give that a little join there. So it goes around just to keep him nice and warm. And then we'll do a little sleeve that's also made more nice and furry. 
and a tiny little claw. He uses his power. He's got all the powers, or we haven't seen all of them yet, but most of the powers you'd expect from someone who is associated with the Force. And he's very cute. I love his little, um, a little pram, a little hovering pram. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, his little costume, like so. Get a little bit of that sleeve in, and then same again. And then here, we will have the last little bit as we do his little hand, other little hand with that little furry collar or a little furry cuff and then we'll give him a little finger and another little finger here um, let's mark in where we want our light source to be like so Wow! Hey, you had your, your moment of fame earlier, didn't you? Hey, mister. Come on, let me get on and do this little Yoda character. Ooh! Thank you, Artie. Uh, wrong pencil, right pencil. Thank you very, very much. So I think we're almost ready. To start colouring him in, which is great. We don't normally have ready to outline and draw so quickly but he's such a small character and so cute okay I am gonna speed this one up get my marker ready And for now, I'm going to leave our Baby Yoda character just like this, just as an outline, as we start to think about the colours that we're going to use to fill in this, this cute little character. And then I will add some of the shading and detail into that as we go along. So I will be using my two trusty brushes, predominantly maybe this one today, because we have a lot of area to colour. We'll be doing watercolours, so I have my water, and I have my little paper towel. Um, I'm gonna keep my marker handy because I may well need that for the eyes. Um, because I'm thinking of trying just something a little bit different for the, for the eye, but we will see as this goes along. I'm gonna start with his head. So 
we will get this blue color first of all and we are going to scribble that across this little character's head you can see that i did put in some drawing line i'll choose after my pencil sharpener some drawing lines in for where i need some of these wrinkles and effects uh, this little part of his mouth is light so get this blue color in and remember we need to do it everywhere that's our base color just very very light to start off with along their ears and this ear as well and then we need to do the hands Let's get those done this is so strange I can feel my table rocking and I feel as I haven't done that for a long long time well, I hope it's not making the picture look too blurry here we go and let's just oh. come on you you little rascal get <laughs> off my picture um, I'm a little bit darker I would say here This area here is shadowing. You can see what the minute we get this done a little bit darker, it starts to give his, his cute little head a little bit more dimension. But I can see from this color that it's not exactly the right color that we need for this. It does need a little bit of the green in. So this is where the light green comes in handy. So we will do a wash of this over the blue, like so. Just nice and lightly over where we've made this darker and it goes almost like a beautiful sea green um, color. Now I want a little bit of this blue also underneath here and this green again and we can have a tiny little bit of a darker green just right at the very bottom going all the way along the underneath and a little tiny bit as well underneath here like so and then I also need a little bit of darker green around this part of the eye it almost looks like an eyelid but this could well be an eyelid this is where we have a little bit of the the shading going on and we will put the light green over that as well just to keep it nice and fun and it will stop it from looking too dark um, we will have some of this lovely light green just to the side of the face and heading on to the ear and where we made that darker this too, we can have the green, the light green over it. Um, the light green over some of this detail and also around the nose. And there'll be some little lines here, which we will do in the light green. And then there's this little line here. A 
few more little lines here. I will also do the green just a shade around here just to give the head a little bit more shape and definition. We can put inside these little creases and inside these little creases and then again on the top of this ear making that a little bit stronger and I am I'm going to add that actually a little bit last now then we have that purpley colour and I'm a bit nervous about using this because it's not really too purple so what I may well do is just go in with a little bit of this pink first I love this about the child he has this beautiful little pink hue around his eye which I think is very very cute very sweet And you can see I've kept that a little bit light as well, so I can take that that colour out as we blend and soften that. Also, he has this lovely, in fact, if I mix these two together, this may give me the colour that I want. So a little bit of pink here as well. Just around this arm. And then on his nose, and a little bit on the side nose, and then he has these lovely little flushes of pink on his cheek. Like so. And we may have to come in and do those again. So let's put those back there where we need them. Um, the ears we can do, um, and we said that they would be in that pinky colour, so let's get my pink. And just lightly sketch those in. tiny bit of orange just at the base of the ear that would be a little bit darker as we fade that out a little bit along the top and the same with the other ear let's get our pink base on His ears are almost transparent and see-through. But when we're drawing a picture, we really want that colour to show through. It just looks really cute. Um, the same again, we will have a little bit of this vibrant orange running all the way along thin on the outer edge. And then as we get into the face, we will make sure that that is a little bit darker. And now I can move on to hands. Again, we need to add a little bit more um, color to the hands. So as much as I want the blue, I also want some green in here. And then we can add some of the darker parts. So we need to shade around this little hand, like so, because there's going to be a little bit of a shadow here, and a little bit of shadow on this finger because it's in the shade, and then also here. Darker, definitely darker along this piece here. Um, a little bit of shadow here on this finger and underneath the robe. Now I am free <coughs> to put these to one side just for a second. 
as we don't need these colors anymore for a while. And let's move on to oops, his, his gown. So the one other color I'm going to add to this is going to be a little bit of yellow, just on the fur. So we will lightly sketch over with yellow first as our base color. We will take that onto the cuff of his little robe. Yeah, and here. Because this isn't white, it is sort of like that fawny color. And I'm not gonna add any detail into this until after we're done. So we'll make that a little bit fawny. Maybe a little bit darker underneath to make that look more dimensional. Like so, a little bit a little here. And then the same with the sleeves. Let's add a little bit of this beigey color just to this half here. And a little bit more to the inside of the sleeve here that would be darker. And the same here, darker beige color there, and then a little bit more here. Now, ideally, that's going to work for me because I almost want the same color, this color, for the whole of his robe. I'm just going to stay with this table and put my feet on this little bar that I've got. There we go. Pad steady as we sketch in the whole of his lovely little robe that he wears. So all over this, this part of the sketch. And it almost looks like he's wearing a, like a sack, poor little thing. Yeah, you can see as we get closer to the yellow, because I've added that, this color looks almost like a different color, which is great. Because his robe is this kind of sandy color. And then we can do a little bit of what we've always kind of done here, and that's add some darker color in. I'll use that here just to create that like crease in his little outfit. And we will use it behind each one of these elements. A little bit darker here as well. Also here, much darker on the inside for sure and then we will definitely have it a lot darker here so I'm pressing a lot harder with my pencil being really firm and the same again on these little folds like so and then nice and dark So, and then the last one here, lovely and dark. So almost creating two colors and the same pencil. And we'll make that darker here. Underneath the arm, because this here would be a lot darker as it goes up. We also really want some dark underneath the collar. Nice and strong, like so. Um, let's add, let's add the dark brown in here. Because this will be better than using a black at the moment. And we can always add a little bit of black afterwards. 
and I'm going to add a little bit of dark brown to these areas. Like so. I can even add a little bit more dark brown to here, just to give that a little bit more depth. Like a little bit more dark brown around where we're going to give the shadow for the collar. And a little bit more dark brown here as well. And on the arm. That will work very nicely. And also on this area here. And I have just another colour brown that I want just to add in just to this bottom part. This is that richer colour brown that you've seen me use a few times. I really, really like it. And then lastly, we can use this orangey colour just on any of the little fingernails that we can see. So that's pretty much all of our little Yoda character for now. So let's start and colour him in. So I have my little paper towel and my brush. So I don't want this too wet. Again, you can almost feel the tip of the brush and just you can tell whether it's going to be too strong. So we'll try it. I'm going to go for activating the ears first. So blending these colours into each other. So we will have the blue and we will have the green. And we should get the perfect colour for this little character. And you're moving them around. More water. Let's put that here so that we, I don't keep reaching across. Um, let's do the other ear. Uh, we'll take that down. And that will start to mix with the blue, which is perfect. Um, the same here for the side of the head. Let's take that around and then start to activate the blue around it. It's painting the two of those colours together. Let's come around to the bottom of his little cheek. I need a tiny bit more water, not too much, as we go into this part of the eye. Now remember, this has got the darker green, so there's likely to be a lot stronger. In terms of creating that wash. So I'm gonna go across and do the other side, first of all, and then maybe take some of that color up to where we have these little areas, which are his detailing. And all the little wrinkles and lines that he has clean my brush and then continue just to soften that up with the blue and we avoid the cheek area for the moment and avoid the eye area so just start on the bottom and work those colors in so we have that nice piece of dark and clean our brush and we will activate the blue go into that colour just to soften it up get all those blue colours together as we do those little lines across his nose and there's a little bit of green here underneath his nose Little lines at the side, 
as we connect to the ears. I will just clean my brush and add a little bit more water as we come around here. Activate that blue. Which as you can see is a much lighter color. And then around the eye itself. Tiny little bit more water just around here. So soften that blue green up. Might be soften this little mouth area up. And then we can do the underside. This little mouth. A little bit darker there. And this little part here is blue. We'll leave that blue. Now I can come in and start to soften up this pinky colour. And work that in. So he has this little flush of pink in his cheeks. And then we can do the eyes. Let's just soften up those two colours. We go around his little eye with big eyes. So, and then a little bit on the nose. Let's take that a little bit lower. Soften that up a little bit more. I'm not using any additional water, but I'm just blending this colour out a little bit more. Um, let's do the ears. We can have a little bit more water. Um, starting off with the light colour. Let's do that first. So we'll do all the pinks. And then we'll work that orange into the pink. Tiny little bit more water again. Just to activate that. And here you can see the orange starting to get stronger as we go onto the inner part of the ear. So we just need to merge that in with the pink, like so. So you get kind of like a gradual blend and then just make sure it's really nice and dark on the inner part of the ear and going across. So we can repeat that on ear number two. I'm going to tilt my arm as we come across. Do all the pink first. Let's get that nice and high. And then we will start to activate the orange. And come in close to the head. <gasps> Whoops, a daisy. Nearly. No, you're going to smudge him. You're going to smudge him. <laughs> His jumps are crazy. He can just jump so hard and fast. I can hear him walking around, but I don't see him jumping up. Bless him. And then just sweep those colors in together. Pink into the orange. Hey, come on you. You are gonna smudge it. Let's get you down. <clears throat> so there we have his two little ears. Thoroughly clean my brush just by rinsing it in the water, testing it to make sure that there's no color coming off as we start to do um, the hood, the little colory part. So we'll start with the yellow, first of all, and then take that up and underneath, and then we'll start to mix that in with some of the brown, and some of that beigey color.
And this is almost like a sheepskin kind of collar. It's, it's really curly and fluffy and soft. So we can get those little areas where there's dark brown. Actually, if I've got enough on my brush, I will activate that dark brown underneath his little chin. Like so, and then I can probably use some of those just to add the little... So as my brush is kind of like split, you'll see it gives you that texture. It looks like it's textured sheepskin. So same again, let's do the yellow first. start to bring in a brownie colour. Bring it all the way around. A pinch and take a little bit of that brown from the top and just move that along there. And then if I get my brown pencil, you can just using some of the water that's on here, and this is going to be quite strong, but hey ho, just very lightly. These little, little, almost little curved lines, little dots, just to make that look textured. Like so. I don't need to be any more detailed than that. And we will keep this pencil handy for when we do the sleeves. And let's do this little sleeve here. So yellow. Yellow first. And into the brown. Actually it's not a brown is it at all. I keep calling it brown. It's, it's a, from the brown family but it's probably closer to orange. It's a very sandy colour. Uh, use that here. Let's do this other sleeve first. And this other collar. And then I will get my sandy brown again with a little bit of water. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's put a few of these little marks just to make that look textured and then the same on the other side before it completely run out of water so you don't need a lot it's better to do these kind of things when you have just a small amount of water left on the brush but that gives us a nice little texture makes them look all squishy and soft um hands let's clean our our brush. Um, I'm going to feel that we need to activate the blue first. It's a little bit trickier on the hands because there's a lot of green. Let's do this bluey colour and then we will start to activate that darker green which was used more for shadow. Maybe shadow around each one of the fingers like so and then blend that in. And the same on this hand. I should have enough. There we go. Clean my brush again. And it needs to feel a lot wetter because we're going to come on and do the whole of the body part. Um, and it's a big area, similar to the head. So we will start off with the light sandy colour. I'm bringing that downwards, that's the motion I'm using, almost with the flat, the whole flat of the brush, get that one colour done, and then we will start to add the other colours. So, you can see there's that colour shadowing underneath, and this strong brown colour at the sides, like so. And just soften that up. Take that all the way down to the bottom. Um, have I got enough to do this little sleeve? Yes, I have. And then the dark 
is the last thing we do. I have noticed that my voice goes quiet when I'm concentrating and doing one one little action and it's it's crazy. Uh, same technique again. So normally I you see me use the tip of the brush, but for a bigger area, um, I will use the flat of the brush. So we get to color that in. It's good to try and go all one way. Again, I did look at photos of the child or baby Yoda and it did look like this is textured. And we've said before about it being almost like a like a sack cloth, so you know you could you could backwards and forwards it just to give it that messier kind of look. Uh, go down again here. This is a larger piece. All down one way and then activate the warmer pieces. And this little shadow here. Let's clean my brush and just add a little bit more water as we come to this bottom part. More of the darker colour here as a shader. There's a little crease in the fabric. And then we come down here. So I'm avoiding this area here just for the moment, only because that needs to be a lot darker. So clean the brush and add a little bit more water as we activate this last light piece. Make the rest of them get a little bit stronger in terms of the color brown that we're using. So here we go, let me add this color. Soften that up, get that little tip in here, and now we're on the darker brown. So carefully just soften that up, and then start to take that into the other colour. So it looks like I need a little bit more water, and only a tiny little bit just to further activate this colour brown. That's better. And then this around here is so much darker because it's more shadowed. So just paint that in and then go back over to activate more of this darker brown and bring that across. And then we have this little stripe here. So I'm just adding a little bit more water. We need to go in here and dilute that brown and then come across here like so, almost like it's a, the fabric itself is moving across. I will just soften this up further. And this, just so that all the textures are very similar. And I'm happy with that. So let's get into these really dark colored browns. I have enough water on my brush to do that. There's one. And here's the other one. If you can get it graduated, which is like a gradient, then do so. Um, it's, good to, it's better to have it a little bit darker at the top and then it fades to the lighter color. That's a nice little touch. I'll add some of that in here. Um, a little bit of that there. Now, my shader pencil, where have you gone? Uh, here we are. This is one of my favorites. So let's just see if I can actually mix some of this. Uh, mix some of this up. I tend to use a lot of water and I can tell when it's starting to work because it goes onto the actual pencil itself. And I can get that grey colour. Now, it can be quite strong but it's a really good colour just for doing a few little shadows. Um, I'm going to take off the excess for this 
and we will have a little bit more shadow here. That's where this arm is, like so. And around here, that will be shadowed and a little bit on the hand. Um, I'm going to add a lot of shadow just to the outer parts of this dark brown. So it kind of mixes the two together. We will have a little bit more of that here, just as a shadow color and also here. And underneath the coat for the collar. That can also have a little bit of shadow. I will add a little bit of shadow just in here and a little bit of shadow just in here like so. And then lastly I will just go in here with some shadow and here with some shadow. Just a quick little line that goes up and that's pretty much it actually you know what let's just put a little bit of shadow in here so we need to do this beautiful little character's eyes um, and i would normally use you've seen me i, I love using a felt tip pen but i really wanted to try and, and see if we can do it with without, so I'm going to put in this big ball of light here, and then we will use my, my grey black pencil, like so, and let's just see if this activates it enough without adding too much more water. that's good because I want it to have areas of light and areas of dark. We go around the other eye. Like so. And a little bit on the top. So it's nice to see him with the grab, but there you can see that actually it probably should be a little bit darker. A little bit of that residue here. And that's where I would come in with, um, let's put my brush down. That's when I would come in with the, with the black. Um, just that you actually have, oh, actually no, I'm doing a marker pen here. with a black, uh, pencil. Like so, just so we can get an in-between shade. I'm just pressing nice and firmly just to get that really inky black, especially around here. And then we can add a little bit more of a lighter shade, like keep this bottom part here lighter, almost as like a band of light. And then we'll do the same with this color here, with this eye here, I should say. Let's just sketch that in nice and dark around the eye around that little ball of light. Um, we'll have a little piece like that, okay, almost like a little triangular side part. Um, and then a little bit underneath here, a little bit of light. And it's really interesting how the light gray almost acts as a, as a white, if 
you like. As we fill in those two parts. And let's make that a little bit smaller. It's almost too distracting. There you go, that's better. And the same here. Get rid of that little point, that should be thinner. Like so. And let's just sketch some of that round. And then what I'm going to do is with my tiny little brush, smaller one, and a little tiny bit of water, I'm just going to activate that around this part of the eye, just to soften that up a little bit. And then around this part of the eye. So where we put the highlight in, just soften that slightly so there's a little bit of grey in there. You can activate the black a little tiny bit. I think that that's enough for him. I'm going to put two little tiny dots his nose, like so. And lastly, I will give him a little bit of a shadow because you know I like to do the face, little areas of base. So it looks like he's standing on something. And a little bit of ground. There we go. A little bit more here. We'll make it stronger, closer to where the gown is, like so. Just take my big brush and then just start with the light and then just soften that up. It's a grey. And right up a notch then. Now then, let's go in with a wonderful, wonderful green felt tip pen as we do our wine. which is for Yoda and it's our take on a baby Yoda from the TV series that's on Disney Plus um, called The Mandalorian. So I hope you've enjoyed this picture today. It's a nice big sketch, quite bold, simple, but with some nice little touches like the detail around the, the collar um, and the, the blending of the colors and also the adding in the little pinks and purples. Um, and the shadowing as well. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed doing this. Really have a go at doing this at home. Um, it's a fun exercise to do. Um, there'll be my last letter uh, tomorrow to finish this set of drawings for you. So please join me for the letter Z tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.